As you may have picked up on, my interest for knives is growing and the next knife on my list was a Crooked River from Benchmade. But after posting a video about the Omega Springs breaking on my bug out and all the responses that I got from people experiencing the same thing, it's remarkable how many busted Omega Springs there are out there. So I went a different route and got this giant mouse Ace Grand instead. The Ace Grand is 20 centimeters long or 7.875 inches. Blade length is 81 millimeters, handle is 114, and the scales are green micarta. It's a liner lock, titanium backspacer, deep carry pocket clip, it has a stonewashed LMAX blade, and the whole thing weighs 135 grams. I'm new to Giant Mouse, and as I understand, they have two lines of knives. One that's called Ace, which contains about seven different knives, including this one, and a GM line, which they only produce three or 400 pieces of, and then never make that same knife again. So I guess to get one of those, you need to uh, set your alarm for whenever a new design is dropped uh, and hope you get lucky. Uh, and if you don't, there is a Facebook group uh, for Giant Mouse fans that will definitely show you what you missed. They call themselves Shank Sharpeners Union. Uh, I just joined and uh, I don't know if it's knife people in general or if it's Giant Mouse fans in particular, but those guys really know how to build a community. And it's pretty rare to be a part of something where everybody roots for each other and is happy to be a part of the same thing and share their interest for a great thing together, all in a positive tone. So for the good people over at Shank Sharpeners Union, well done. These are rounded micarta scales. They're green micarta and they're my micarta debut. I've never tried them before. I'm a micarta virgin. And now my cherry's been popped and I've got to say, I'm a fan. It feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, they're a bit darker than when I first got them a couple of weeks ago. And if I had known that they would darken this much, I probably would go with the natural Micaro scales instead. Even though they looked a little bit too light uh, colored uh, on the photos. But thinking about it now, that would probably be a better match for me. Nonetheless, this is not my last knife with Micaro scales. Uh, they feel grippy and warm in a way, or maybe that's just in my head since it's not metal and winter is coming, but I'll definitely do my cardas again. Here's a size comparison with the Spyderco Shaman. Let's put the Benchmade bug out in there as well. For EDC, some people think that this knife is a little too big. Um, I'll use it as a fidgeting work knife and I have rather large hands, so I think this size is uh, pretty great. For quite some time, I've used a Spyderco Shaman for work around the farm and the Ace Grand is about one centimeter shy of the Shaman. The most noticeable difference between the two though is the locking mechanism. This is a liner lock and this is a compression lock. And I think the compression lock is a bit more fidgety than the liner lock. But that could also be because I haven't figured out how to do it properly yet. The Ace Grand comes with a deep carry pocket clip, which I prefer. Um, it makes it a bit more anonymous when going to the grocery store. And if they were dark as well, no one would notice because I usually wear dark pants. The Shaman has a black pocket clip, uh, even though it's not that black anymore due to heavy usage. And it's not deep carry, so it will draw some attention. I don't know why they don't put deep carry pocket clips on all knives. This just makes it look like someone's waiting for someone to type something on Snapchat. So how is the giant mouse Ace Grand fidget wise? To open it, you put the finger in the hole. I'm used to that from the Spyrocos. The action on it is just amazing. It's almost as if it's assisted in a way. Uh, it just shoots out of there. And that sound 
It's the closing thing that I haven't quite figured out with these kinds of locks. Uh, this is my first liner lock and I close it like this. And I would think for an effective fidget, you'd close it like this. I do have a frame lock knife that a viewer sent me. Hi Manny. Uh, and to close it, I thought you were supposed to do it with the thumb, but it's so damn hard that I almost can't do it. So instead I started turning it and go like that. So after a while, it was just natural for me to close knives like that in that way. But I do see that people close these types of knives with the thumb all the time. But I, my, my thumb gets so insanely sore from pushing the metal to the side every time. Or is it just that I have to do it for 10,000 hours to numb my thumb so that I don't feel the pain anymore? I also feel I put my thumb in harm's way by doing it like this. Uh, it's more prone to slip and cut my thumb than when I do it like this? Or is it meant to be a two-handed action? Releasing a little pressure with the other hand before using the thumb for more control and less wear and tear on the thumb? So how do I do this most effectively with these kinds of locks? Uh, how do you fidget with the liner lock? Is there a manual? I know these are silly problems for a so-called adult to be so passionate about, but this is important stuff. What I do know is that I love this knife. It feels good, the fantastic action, and it looks pretty freaking awesome as well. And I'll definitely put it to good use around here, fidgeting or not. With that said, uh, I haven't totally given up on the bug out yet. Uh, several people reached out to me after the previous video with tips and tricks on how to solve the problem. Many of them using piano strings, and I thank you all for that. I have talked to Benchmade about it and there are new Omega Springs on the way in the mail. So hopefully I get to assemble it and start using it in the near future. Now I'll go and try and get a photo of this thing. Uh, if you wanna see the result, go and check it out over at my Instagram. Feel free to like this video. If you have any suggestions on new knives that I should check out, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.